Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with quick hits. Uh, big news today, Benavides versus Andre. Possibility. We're going to get into it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um. <clears throat> David Benavides and uh, Andre for the WBC interim title. Uh, first off, this fight is highly intriguing. Um, it, it's been, you know, some career for Andre. Um, you know, he, he, he spent most of his career waiting for Canelo, um, <laughs> and that hasn't worked out. He uh, is now in his mid thirties. Uh, he's thirty five years old. He still hasn't had a big time fight. His career. Uh, it's unfortunate because he burst onto the scene after the uh, 2008 Olympics, I believe. Yeah, 2008 Olympics uh, with a ton of hype. And, like, he's, ha- he's he's a good fighter. You just go through his resume, man. It's not good. <clears throat> it's it's <laughs> His resume is just unfortunate. Like, it really, really is. Um, I can take you through the top of it, you know, the best win on his resume, boy, it's it's tough. Liam Williams, I, I guess, and, and and that was impressive. Um, yeah, Liam Williams, Vonis Montarosen. You want to go through this? Demond Nicholson, Jason Quigley, Liam Williams, Luke Killer, Selesky, Akavov, Walter Kocken, Kocken Dakwa. Alantez Fox, Jack Quilke, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson was a good win. I thought Nelson could fight. Uh, Dario Fabian Puchetta, Brian Rose, Vinus Montarosen, Freddie Hernandez. And then it's real weak. That, that takes all the way back to that's what he's got this decade. It, it's tragic. It really is. And he's not horrible. He's not a horrible fighter. He's not. He's a really good fighter. He's got a lot of skills. He's boring sometimes. Um, he starts to fight fast. You know, we're talking about guys who are slow starters. He's a fast starter, a slow finisher. Um, his power is, is better than his knockout percentage uh, represents. Um, his skills are phenomenal. His speed, he still has the reflexes even into his mid-30s. I, I've never really seen a career like this where he can never, ever – talk. forget about a big fight. He can never even get a medium fight. He can never even get a Charlo fight or Danny Jacobs. He, he, and – we can debate all day whose fault it is. Perhaps it's his fault. You got to give him some blame. Um, you know, he started his career over with Joe DeGuardia, star boxing. Then he went over to um, uh, Eddie Hearn. None of that really worked for him. No one was able to get him a big fight. Eddie Hearn feels like he failed him. Um, he was unable to get him a Canelo fight. He's unable to get him a Triple G fight. Triple G wanted no part of him. He was originally signed to fight Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe tested positive. That fell apart. It was all tragic. It's just, it's unfortunate how his career unfolded because he does have a lot of talent. He is a good fighter. He's not, he's not horrible. He's not. He's good. Um, he could win this fight with Benavides. Now, Benavides is, he, He's the man of the hour right now after what he did to Caleb Plant. Uh, he's everyone's favorite fighter right now. Um, stylistically, uh, he's a lot of fun. Stylistically, he can't be in a boring fight. Uh, he, he has the win over Caleb Plant. 
which was sensational. Uh, he's got other good wins. He's got, obviously has, you know, he's a full decade. He's 26 now. He's a full decade younger than uh, almost than Andre. He's got the win over Lemieux, Kieran Davis, uh, Ronald Ellis, uh, Roma Alexis Angulo, Anthony Durrell, Jay Leon Love, Ronald Gravel twice, and uh, Apoki Medina. And then we go all the way back to 2017. So he's already got the better resume. He's got the power. He's such a monster, such a physical force. It, he's a tough guy to deal with, right? And I would imagine he's going to um, open up the favorite. And I'm, I'm going to advise you guys how to bet on that fight once I see the odds, if that fight does happen. Because I, I don't think picking Benavides is going to be the smartest bet, depending on what those odds are. Um but we'll, let's wait for the odds to come out, and we'll, we'll make that assessment. I'd imagine he's going to open up a favorite, and, and, and rightfully so. He's got the better resume. He's got the best win. He's got a, you know amazing performance there with Caleb Plant, uh, where he truly looks special. Um, you know, he's a natural 168. He's huge for the weight class. Um, Andre comes up from 54 to 60. This is 68. He's a two division weight champ. Um, he's <clears throat> he's he's going to have a speed advantage. He's going to have a skill advantage. He can hit harder than Caleb Plant. Right? I, I, I know his knockout percentage ain't great, but he, he, he gets knocked down, he hurts fighters, and then he lets him off the hook. I'm not picking him to stop Benavides. He's going to have to go the distance, and he's going to have to keep Benavides off. Of him. He has the power to do that where Caleb Plant does not. Right? He has the ability to stand in a little bit and trade in spots. Caleb Plant didn't. I think stylistically, this is a much better fight for Andre than it is for, for, for Plant. If Andre's plan is just to get on his back foot and run for 12 rounds, he's going to have the same fate as Caleb Plant. I don't think that's going to be his plan. I think he he offers more than that, right? Um, you know, and, and it's tough because Plant and, and, and if Plant were to fight Andre, that's a totally different thing. Right, like that's a pure boxing contest. Plant may win that, but fighting this guy, Benavides is as good as he is, and he's a monster. He's floored. He crosses his feet. Hit him when he crosses his feet. Right, he drops it. Hit him. He's slow. He makes mistakes. Right, he leaves his body open. He can be hit. Um, you know, he fights really well on the inside. He's got you know, Benavides has some good skills, but he makes really, really fundamental mistakes like crossing his feet. Um, like like he looks like an amateur sometimes when he does that. He can be had. Right, and that's why everyone said he would crush Canelo. Mm, maybe it's going to be tough to beat this guy. This guy, like I said, he's a monster. He's a physical force. He he he's got real power. You know, everything he hits, he destroys. He wears you down. He breaks you down. Um, but he can be had. You can outskill him. You can outwork him. You can finesse him. But you're gonna have to stand in the spots because for 12 rounds, if you want to run from him, eventually you're going to slow down. And once you slow down, he's going to punish you like no one else. So that can't be the game plan. You kind of have to fight him, have to fight him like Hurd, a uh, Laura fought Hurd. You're going to have to pick spots. All right. You're not going to do that for 12 rounds, but you're going to have to use your speed and your skills on the inside, beat him, tie him up, then move out. Right. You can't just run for 12 rounds. And I think that uh, Benavidez, uh, that Andre could. I'm not. I, I know I'm talking up Andre a lot right now. I'm saying he could win, right? And, and depending on how big of an underdog he comes into this fight is going to dictate how we bet how we would bet this fight. But Andre, he, I understand his resume is total trash. Like his his resume is laughable for a guy 35 years old. This is his resume. Who came in, entered all this hype, all this gloss. This is. I mean, it's embarrassing and it's shameful. But this is what it is. And he can win this fight. Not saying he's going to, but he can. He will not be outmatched. He will not be, you know, worn down. You know, he, he's not going to be. This is not a one-sided fight where everyone, you know, where, where, where Benavides is just going to steamroll him. It's not that kind of fight. But let me know what you guys think. I'm really in, intrigued for this fight. It should be in the fall. It's going to be a headline of a pay-per-view. Fortunately, Benavides is a pay-per-view fighter now. Everyone's a pay-per-view fighter. It'll do a decent number. Andre can't sell tickets. Um, it is what it is. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. It is August 7th, 2023 uh, from Texas. 
to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.